so um, I'm here at the Outland Center in Cabazon. It's kind of windy and a little chilly, so hopefully it warms up. But I want to show you guys what the outlet completely looks like. So this is how vast it is, and there's like Dior, Gucci, Giorgio Armani, um, Juicy Couture is right over there. So we're zoom on this one. Let's see, Juicy. 60 and we are going to go inside of the cosmetics company store. That's what you want. That's your CCO. So we're going to go inside and see how much trouble I get in for videotaping, but um, I'll show you when we get inside. Bye. Okay, so we're here and okay, so cosmetics company outlets are pretty much they're the brand is based off of Estee Lauder and Estee Lauder owns Mac and Bobby Brown. So, and prescriptives, which is going out of business, but there's prescriptives, and what we're looking for is MAC stuff. So, if you ever want to go to a CCO, what you do is um, you look for things that have been discontinued, that are no longer, they're limited edition, but you can't find them in the stores anymore. So that's what we're looking for right now. And there's lip products, there's um, pigments down here. Um, what are they? Oh no, these are nail lacquers, never mind. Um, so this is all of those, and here's some lip products. Now, lipstick-wise, there's some some shines over here. Um, foundations. If you notice, they're all really dark colors. These are what predominantly don't sell as well as the fair colors. So I usually always find those. But what I'm looking for is anything that is limited edition that's gone. Like for instance, ooh, look what's fun. Um, Emmanuel Ungaro. This is um, Flower Mist Dew Beauty Powder. Let's take a look. That's really pretty. Um, this is the Dame Edna collection, and this is in, um, let's see, uh, Spectacle. Never seen that before, but let's open it up, see what it looks like. Open. Another beauty powder. That's really pretty. Um, some studio texts, some moisture blends. Um, what do I see here? Another skin finish. Now this is the dual, which I had a while back actually. In medium dark natural shimmer. This is exactly what I used to wear. That's funny. So there's that. And then up here are MSFs. So Sunny by Nature is here. Oh, this one's pretty. Is this Global Glow? No, this is cheeky bronze. Wow, looks so different than when I had it. Um, another. What is this one? Medium natural. Um, this one's pretty. Porcelain pink. They have a porcelain pink. And now here are cream blushes. There's cherry, cherry. Um, earth to earth. And this is a duo. And what else is pretty? Blunt. If anyone ever wants blunt, they have it here. Ooh, I think I have this one. Cheek and Cheerful is one of my favorite blushes. I have this. I think this might be super duper natural. Nope, this is improvised. That's really, really pretty. That's really pretty. I might have to swatch that in a second. Um, so yeah, these are all your blushes, beauty powders, lippies. Let's look for lippies. Um, oh, here are the... Um, Studio Sculpts foundations. NC55, too dark for me. NC43 might work. If there was an NC42, I'd be really happy. Ooh, here's an NW43. That might work for me too. But we'll take a look at that. Um, these are the marbleized lip glosses that were that came out in a collection. Uh, dazzle glasses. Um, Another Dame Edna limited edition gloss. Regular gloss. As far as lip glosses go, some really pretty colors. This is, um, what is this one? Buzz. That's really pretty, actually. I might try that. So, this is MAC. This is what they have so far. Um, like I said, lots of colors that are darker. So, for me, I'm in heaven. Um, mascaras. Pro Lash Mascara, um, Red Velvet Shade Stick, um, 
let's look down here. Concealers, brow gels, um, NC50, it's a little too dark for me. Um, what is this? Studio lights, I don't know what this is. Studio lights, has anyone ever heard of this? My camera's not focusing, but studio lights, don't know what that is. Um, bags, uh, yeah, so, Oh wait, there's more stuff over here for Mac. Oh, there's tons more Mac, oh good. Okay, so, eyeshadows, or what are these? Cream color bases, this is um, Root. Um, tint Frost, that's really pretty. Oh, these are fun, this is what I wanted to look for. So these are the sheer bronze, mineralized sheer bronze um, powders. So they're like a loose powder that can be used as a highlighter. And these are great. So I'm not really seeing anything that I could use color-wise, but eyeshadows, ooh, glamour check. It's really pretty. Um, ooh, what is this from the Neo Sci-Fi? Time and Space, that's gorgeous. Um, here is a quite natural paint pot. All right, so I'm gonna start swatching and then I'll get back to you guys. Be right back. All right guys, and also what I found was um, charged water, skin hydrating mist, they have that still. Um, MAC Lightful um, Ultra Moisture Cream, they still have that. Look what I found, oh, Volcanic Ash Exfoliator, they have that. Now here's what was, what is this, the charged water again, but it's, I don't know if that's rose infused because it's got a different color to it. Um, ooh, look, Naked Honey. This is the body lotion. Um, the Naked Honey body wash. So they have a lot of good stuff. And then up here on the top, these are the um, eyeshadow pods that came out. See that? Oh, there's Fafi. All the fun colors in there. Uh, where's this one? The Tempting Eyeshadow Quad. What else? Um, Shadow Lady. It's really pretty. I remember I'm looking for <laughs> um, Tooth Fairy Carol once um, in the gallery. She wants spiced chocolate, which I don't think I'll find, but this is Tone Gray. So, sorry Tooth Fairy Carol. I looked for you, honey. Didn't see it. Hey, you guys. Okay, but my first stop um, was the CCO. So you guys just watched the video on that, and um, you saw me go inside, and sh and she let me video. But the thing is, is that we weren't supposed to. And so I walked up, and I was like, you know, I, I do this video blog. Um, can I videotape my experience? And she was like, no, I'm sorry, you can't. Well, then I was like, she's like, my manager's coming right now, so I can get in trouble. And I was like, well, what if we never had this conversation? And I just started filming, and then she yelled at me, and she came in. She's like, oh, that's okay. And I was like, okay, so I have no idea what you're talking about. So she let me videotape because she had no idea. But you saw the video. That's a CCO. That's what it is. It's, it's Clinique. It's um, Estee Lauder. It's Bobbi Brown. It's MAC. It's all the stuff that's gone that you really can't find in stores, including prescriptives. But um, it's the collections and the palettes and stuff. You, you know, sometimes I looked for Tooth Carrie Farrell. She wants the Spice Chocolate Quad. I remember her last video. And I looked. Tooth Fairy Carol, so just know that you've got California covered, and I didn't see it. But there's like two more near me, so if you want me to check, I'll check. But I'll show you what I ended up picking up, and if you are a Mac junkie from way back in the day, I guess this is like a really good find, but I wasn't on the Mac train when these collections came out. But I picked up Bateau Luster Glass, and it's a, a really pretty, like a peachy brown nude with like when they say luster glass they mean luster glass like this has a crazy finish like like a mirrored finish I don't know I love the color I don't know if I like the mirrored shine so much like it's almost reflective but I guess this came out in the I want to say the naughty nauticals collection I could be wrong but I picked this up for 10 bucks and uh, this, the last thing and the only other thing I got was my favorite releases which are gone are the 3d glasses I'm wearing it right now. This one is in um, cinched up. Also pretty, uh, kind of the same, like peachy, neutral, brown, beige, nude that I love. This one I'm wearing, I love this. I love 3D glass. I think they're fantastic. They taste good. 
and they're shiny and they're not sticky at all. So these are the two I picked up at the CCO, but um, I just wanted to show you guys inside of one. Uh, CCO stands for Cosmetics Company Outlet if you've never heard of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!